Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to a special edition of The Rock House, where spiritual growth is and always will be the foundation. Thanks for joining me on this special edition because you know why it's special? Because today is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all of the fathers all over the world because you hold a special place in everybody's heart. Your leadership, your guidance, your love and protection is something that we will not forget ever. And today is a special, special Father's Day for me because today is the first Father's Day without my father. As many of you know, my father passed last Sunday and we are going to have his funeral this Friday. But when I woke up this morning, I thought, wow, today is the first Father's Day that I will spend without my dad. But it's not gonna stop me from celebrating who he was and who he still is to me today. So I found the card that I was gonna give him today and I'll read that to you guys now. So, there's it. <laughs> That's the card. And it says, Dad, thanks for always being there, being proud and being you. Whether it's a high five, a smile, or just a hand on my shoulder, it means more than words could say. Happy Father's Day. I love you, Dad. And of course, I know he is hearing this in heaven and he's probably looking down and saying, boy, <laughs> don't be crying that I am gone. But let those be tears of joy. Be happy and know where I am. And I am with my father, our father in heaven. So, I'm not gonna make this very long because I know you guys wanna take the time out to spend time with your fathers. But one of the things that um, really stands out about my father is how he loved God and he loved people. And you all take that with you. That is the greatest commandment. Those are the two greatest commandments. First one is love God. Second one is love people. And that's something that he exemplified. So today, whether you have a good, bad, or indifferent relationship with your father, make it right and today i can sit here before you at total peace and happiness because i had a great relationship with my father and we had arguments or disagreements i should say not arguments but disagreements because my dad didn't argue but we had disagreements and we always made it right and i am proud 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 of that that i can live now with no regrets and live in peace because of the, how I treated my father, how I respected him, how I loved him. So I encourage you today, contact your father. If your father's living, if he's not living, if you can't find him, forgive him for whatever you are holding a grudge about, let it go. It's not worth it. So live for eternity, not for today. Live for eternity. So love God, love people. Thanks for joining me here in the Rock House. And y'all have an amazing, awesome Father's Day. As always, I love ya and peace. Dear God, I gratefully thank you for giving me my dad. You must really love me because you gave the best you had. Watch over him and bless him, Lord, and keep him in your care. And may he feel my love for him is my humble, heartfelt prayer.